Once you define your own success, you stop living inside somebody else's expectation. Those are the Joneses. Who are those people anyways? Feeling behind in life? Do this. I admit I used to feel weighed down by the I'm so behind in life mentally, comparing myself to other people, what they had, what they had in their relationships versus my relationship. But the reality is it's all interpretation. One way of eliminating that feeling of falling behind in life is to create a clear and specific life plan. What do you want? What are your goals? What's your dream life look like? And how can we manifest that? It felt like everywhere I looked, people were progressing faster than I was, hitting milestones earlier, climbing the ranks with more ease, figuring things out faster, leaving me in the dust, wondering how the heck did I fall so far behind? Have you ever felt that way? I thought the reason I felt this way is because I was doing something wrong. Maybe I was focused on the wrong things, or maybe I just wasn't meant to have those things that seemed to come so easily for people. But you know what? That wasn't it at all. It was my comparison. Right, And my comparison actually had nothing to do with what really happened or not happened in my life. It had everything to do with how I was feeling about my life. Ah, feelings! When I was unhappy with my situation or my social life, the first instinct is to look around and see, well, everybody else is happy, everybody else is doing this, but happiness has to be created. I felt like I was lacking something that other people didn't have. So here's how I measure my life nowadays to assess my progress of my own happiness so that I can find a deeper, more fulfilling way to enjoy the things I want. These metrics apply to everything in my life. It's not, it's about my family. I create a list of what matters most to me, how fulfilled I feel on a regular basis. For me personally, this comes down the kind of impact I'm having on other people and the world around me. If I'm promoting positivity, especially nowadays in the midst of so much negativity, to even one person I can confidently check that box. How happy and content do I feel each day? It's my definition. This means creating a life of freedom, ease, creativity, deep connection, and lots of spaciousness. It has almost nothing to do with what I have or what I have not, or if I've made it in life. The next thing I look at is the quality of my relationships. When I look around at all the amazing people that I've attracted to my life, who can I be 100% myself with? Then I know I'm doing something right. I had to stop people pleasing. And again, I had to learn how to say no. No, no is a complete sentence. And honor your schedule. Honor your values, which my values are my faith first, my family second, and my career third. When I live inside these priorities, my life just works better. When I'm outside of these priorities, I get stressed out and I start comparing. How well I take care of my health. And by health, I mean my holistic health, my physical health, my emotional health, my spiritual health. My focus on my personal growth is constant learning. There's a great quote out there that says, if you're not growing, you're dying. I feel this on a personal level. When I'm stagnating, ugh, it feels like soul death. I always wanna be learning something new in business and in my personal life. If these are more accurate factors for de determining how ahead or behind you feel in your life, then you've probably made way more progress than you thought. Plus the beauty of all of this new list of metrics for measuring happiness and progress is that you can achieve all of these things because they're your list, they're your happiness. In some way or another, regardless of the life circumstance, you choose because comparison is the thief of joy. Social media is an illusion or a delusion. We're taking a snapshot of our happiness wherever we go, we don't see the entire picture. So take some time, put your life plan together, get clear, get clear on, and when it's done, what does it look like? What does success mean to you? In my faith, in my family, in my career, in my health, in my education and my finances. Once you define your own success, you stop living inside somebody else's expectation. Those are the Joneses. Who are those people anyways? And start having a life that's free. Now that's purpose, that's intentionality. That's really living inside of what you decide. Quit letting everybody else decide. You choose, you be clear, but more importantly, be in radical action. 
because action is the antidote for despair. Action will have you go in one direction and see possibility in another. Don't look at what others have. Focus on you, your family, your priorities. Then you won't feel behind in life. So remember, you're in business for yourself, not by yourself. I'm your sister in the journey. I'm Susie Carter. I'm your profit coach. And let's let it go.